It's about to be epically crazy. In chronological order, this is the second Transformers movie. It takes place during the 90s, shortly after Bumblebee. Pete Davidson is the voice of Mirage. He's kind of like the rebellious Autobot. You looking good, man? There you go, now we're friends. Character noise, ex-military. And I feel like I'm failing at every turn. Then I meet Mirage. Pete Davidson is the voice of Mirage. There's a lot of action. There's humor. Stranger danger! And there's a lot of heart. They're going against their biggest nemesis ever. Everything you cared for will be consumed. They've never based anything like this before. I was a Transformers movie back in the 80s and uh, VHS tape, oh my God, I remember watching it at a friend's house and I remember just the colors drew me in, but that was like my first real intro to Transformers. And then after that, it was Rise of the Beast, which I want to say was early 2000s that I started to get into it. And um, I just remember the impact it had on me. It was something new and different. I remember the, uh, the CGI was different, you know, in terms of a cartoon. And I was kind of like transitioning from my boy phase to my teenage years. So I kind of disappeared for a little bit. And then Michael Bay brought me back with 2007's, you know, Bay first start of Transformers 1. And uh, that's when I was like, whoa, like, what is this? And that's where I really got like enthralled and watched every single movie afterwards. So I'm part of the Bayverse fan club and Nightverse and Bumblebee. Transformers Rise of the Beast technically is Transformers like seven, right? And so you're always trying to find unique ways for the humans to interact and or meet the robots. And so in this particular case, I thought it'd be interesting if we flipped it on his head a bit, right? And so you have Noah, this character who thinks he's about to steal a car and turns out he's getting stolen by the car. He goes on this wild cop car chase through New York City, which is really hard to shoot by, by the way, in terms of a car chase sequence. And while he's going through this chase, he's starting to build a relationship with the car, even though he hasn't seen or met Mirage the robot yet. And so if you take a look at that sequence, we're really diving into their relationship and building this sort of unique back and forth as they're talking to each other, even though he's never even heard Mirage, aka Pete Davidson's voice yet. And so he's interacting just through the driving itself. So we get a glimpse of Mirage as a character with his driving technique. He rides fast. He's a little bit of a showboat, uh, the way he turns corners. Uh, he's a risk taker. You know, you can see he's kind of like the rebellious Autobot, so to speak. I'm Anthony Ramos. I play Noah in Transformers Rise of the Beasts. I've been a fan of the franchise. Yes, I've seen every movie. And I watch Beast Wars every, I think it was Saturday or Sunday on, uh, on TV.
this movie's been challenging physically, I mean emotionally too. Like again, we, we wanted to bring, we want to bring not just the action to, to this. We don't want just the action to be um, dynamic and exciting. Uh, and a part of that, you know, really, we, we, a part of that was one, I wanted to do my own stunts. I was like, as many of these stunts as I can do, I'm gonna do them. And uh, number two, it was like every single scene matters. There's no scene that does not matter. Every word matters, every line matters. Like, you know, when, again, something I love about Steven is he doesn't waste a word, not a word, not a moment, anything. And like, they, even if there aren't lines, there are lines. There are things happening, you know, where are the characters at emotionally all the time because the emotions are gonna, are gonna, um, they're gonna drive the actions, you know? They're gonna drive, the emotions are, are gonna drive the action in the film, right? This character's angry, this character's sad about this, so they're gonna fight, or this this happens, or whatever. Or this, they're gonna, this person's gonna retreat, they're gonna hope, right? This, so it's all about where we're at emotionally, and we lead with that, and um, I think it's been a lot of work doing that and going the extra mile, and doing the stunt training. I can't tell you how old he gets. Crap! So I play okay. Elena Wallace, and fun fact for all you Brooklynites, Biggie fans, Big, Biggie's name, last name is Wallace. He's Christopher Wallace. So I'm really excited that we got a little, a little Biggie up in there. Elena Wallace is her name, and um, she works at the museum. She's very curious. She's kind of being a bit held back by her boss, and um, so she takes her life into her own hands when she sees a, a, like a sculpture. Um, it's called a statuette. And she's, she gets curious about it, and because she's curious, she starts investigating it, and then that kind of opens a whole new world, which then brings Noah into her life and the Autobots. And that's kind of how, how she starts. The bots have their different heights. <laughs> You know, we must respect that they are different heights. So Prime might be up here and Bumblebee's not that tall. And then, you know, Aries is flying. And then these are all these different things that you have to think about. So the imagination part wasn't the hard part. It was kind of getting eye lines right for camera. That was the, the harder part. Because um, uh, I come from theater. And, you know, when you're doing monologues, a, a lot of times you're just talking to yourself. Um, I have a one-woman show where I play 20 different characters. And so I'm on the stage by myself. So I'm kind of used to acting towards nothing. So I think it was more so oh, you know, what the camera needs. My car. Okay. I just found out that aliens are real and almost died like six times. Stupid question. Stupid question. Slowly comes back up. Not you. <laughs> she takes off. And she starts walking towards the stone. Once we, once we get down here, that was some crazy shit we just did. You good? Um, you know what I mean? You can see something, do it, and then we just, and then we kind of like, all right, you know what I mean? And then, then we see the world. Cause I, cause I, I, I do believe he, he would check. Yeah. Like you know, regardless if he takes him out, yeah. it's still like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but that's about like, huh? that's about care about you. Yeah. So if y'all do much. that, and that happens, and you catch. Yeah. We found some sort of opening to a cave in. Wait, did you just call me Sonic? I think there's a, a temple. I think there's a light on here. Let me see. Three, two, one, on. 